Jake clocked the jumper. <laughs> Barth. I said what to do, baby. <laughs> CJ. Yo, where's the video? Oh, there he is. Teeth smiling, sun shining. Look at that boy. Woo! First of all, been measuring hoops for 10 years. You can call me the LA Fitness dunk god. I also go by two legs. It's something magic in the way that I spend it. Yeah, that is a practice, but you gotta add the action. Keep it real simple on the one that make it happen. I'm trying to tell you. Let's settle it once and for all. Are all the LA Fitness's rims low? Short answer, no. Why are they low? Let's get to the myth. Why are they low? Have you heard? That's a good question. And do you know why? And why are they low? I, I know the myth. Got the myth. What's the myth? What's the secret sauce? Because people don't measure when they construct the gyms. What do they do? You do. Uh-huh. Have, have you talked to the LA Fitness CEO and asked him? I am, I am the CEO. You are him. I guess we have to go see the video. That's exactly right. I have no idea. Well, you're gonna have to watch my video then. The myth is the story I've been told is sometimes they put the hoop on the wall when there's cement and then they put the floor of the court there. So that's a couple inches right there. That's what I've been told, but are all of them low? No, I've actually measured some rims that are high. I think the highest one was at least 10-2, maybe even 10-3. Are all LA Fitness yeah. rims low? Contrary to popular belief, some are actually high. Right. No, a lot of them are though. Are all LA Fitness rims low? Absolutely not, every single rim is different. It can be 10-1, it can be 10-2. Don't measure your rims, go get tape measures, measure it. Don't just think, oh, it feels low. It's probably two inches low. You're probably wrong. No, I've actually been on LA Fitness rooms that are higher than 10. Actually, uh, I've, I've been to one with you. Yeah. Uh, higher than 10. I think it's going to be in this video, actually, that I recorded it. 10 foot, 2 inches. Look at that. We're going to windmill it. He's windmilling. Oh. Foot, 2 and a quarter. For an electrician that does light bulbs for a living. <laughs> so, what does this matter? Why do you care? First of all, 3 inches is nothing. But at the same time, it's a lot. So which one is it? Is it nothing or is it a lot? Let's get into it. If you're part of the dunk life, if you've ever tried to increase your vertical, if you've ever tried to dunk and live out a dream that some of us have, you know that every fraction of an inch counts. And you could say pause at any time throughout this video. So we're just going to get that joke way out of the way because every inch matters. Every fraction of the inch matters. What? What's the difference between nine, nine and 10 feet? A lot. Three, three inches doesn't sound like much, but three inches makes a big difference. We shall pause. Same thing, three inches, right? It's completely different. <laughs> big difference or small difference? Essentially, I would say small difference. All right. But if, it, if, if, you're, at your, if you're at your limit, right. it might make... Here's the difference. When you're trying to get your first dunk, of course, every fraction of an inch matters and 10 feet is the goal. Doesn't matter if it's in a gym, doesn't matter. To me, my first dunk was actually 9'9", nine, nine, but I had no idea. So the life altering, mind shaping, perspective shifting event that it was, was still the same. Now, all my goals are, of course, 10 feet, but there is benefits to the low rims. Now you can ask any pro dunker, they will tell you low rims are fantastic. And there's two main reasons. Low rims. What about them? Are they good? Low rims. You like them? You love them? Hate them? What's up? Low rims, low rims are the greatest thing ever. That's how I got good at dunking. So. And tell me about a downside. There's nothing wrong with them as long as you post the rim height. Low rims. Are they good or bad? Good. They're the best thing ever. They're the best. And what's the downside? Only downside is if you're not jumping as hard as you can. Right. Because then you, you get used to jumping low on a dunk. Um... But if, you, if you're at a cha challenging enough rim height, that shouldn't be an issue. There is none. What? Is there any downside? Dunking is repetition. So if you get comfortable dunking on a low rim, it's going to change your technique when you transition to a higher rim. Well said. Yep. I know this is crazy and it might sound like a gimmick, but right now, you yourself can go and dunk on a low rim for free 
with no downsides. Okay. One, for the dunk technique, and two, jump technique. And yes, they are different. You can practice your dunks, whether it's spinning, reverses, finishing, or your jump technique. And the reason I like jump technique as well, in addition to furthermore as dunk technique, is jump technique for me on a low rim, super aggressive. How would you describe the way I dunk on 9-9? Like you're on cocaine or something. Let's see. I got another word. Violent. Now, how would you describe me on 9-9? Monster. And you? God. (laughs) Now, when you go on 9-9, Yeah. How does that feel? Stupid. Stupid. Everybody thought it was just stupid. To someone that says, when you measured at 9.9 nine, and they're like, ah, that's 9.6, what would you say to that? If you, it, it, what? Because <laughs> I've had someone, I've measured at 9.9 nine, and I fly, so they're like, that's got to be 9.5, nine, 9.6. Nine, what do you say to that? Um, read a book. <laughs> Super aggressive. When I don't get too high, when it's a 10 1, 10 2, and I'm just trying to put one down, it's hard for me to get that same adrenaline. Do I still have it coursing through my blood? Of course. But when it's a little low and I know I can just get my freaking neck by the rim and destroy it, it's a different level of mania. He's a maniac, okay? Now, that being said, All my goals are for 10 feet. When you're first increasing and getting your first dunk, a one-hander on 9.9 from 10 feet, it may not take you that long because you're only increasing three inches. And when you're first starting out, like I did at a 28-inch vertical, you're increasing a couple inches. So 28 to 31 is not that big. Any rim that's low is really helpful for this dunk technique, all the way down to eight feet. So I definitely advise going out, getting a rim that's adjustable. Use them as a tool, just like working out. You wanna use them as supplemental exercises for yourself. Are they a lot of fun? Yes. Fun should be the part of the journey, maybe the priority, if not the number one priority, it should be the most fun. If you're saying, I'm lifting 10 pounds, then you add another 10 pounds, then you add another 10 pounds, every 10 pounds gets exponentially harder, yet it's still adding the same increment of weight. That is what I'm saying about these three inches Pause. Because if you're starting at a 30 inch vertical and you're increasing three inches, that's a lot easier than having a 48 inch vertical and trying to get to 51. Going from a 30 inch vertical to a 33 inch vertical compared to what's yours at right now? Uh, best ever test, 48. 48 to 51, I actually use that as an example. Same thing, three inches, right? Completely different, (laughs) completely different. Can you sum it up in a sentence why it's different? I'm giving him the hard ones. Diminishing returns. Boom. <laughs> so, does it count on 99? No. Nothing's official unless it's 10 feet. Kind of a random thing as well because why did it start at 10 feet? We use the friggin' what do you call our system? Not the metric system, the other one. I don't even know what mine's called. And 10 feet is 120 inches, so random, but that's what it is. That's standard. That's what the pros play on. So, that's where your goals should be. That's what my goals are to dunk in games. Do I still get insanely hype when I do it on 99? Yeah, because it's more about the journey and the progress. I'm not saying, oh, I completed my goal. No, it's another goal like that. If you're trying to climb Mount Everest and you climb something that's less high, but still challenging, you still scream. So I love when people say it's not nine, it's not nine. I put nine, nine. Why would I lie? First of all, been measuring hoops for 10 years. I literally pioneered measuring hoops. And someone says, that's, that's got to be nine, five, nine, six. Do you know what I would do on that height? Three inches below the nine, nine, three inches below regulation from 10 feet to nine, nine is absurdity. I'm literally a God. I'm the LA fitness God. You can call me the LA Fitness Dunk God. I also go by two legs. So, so if you lower that three more inches, good night. Just good night. Just good night. Just go to sleep because we're lucid dreaming now. <laughs> God. <laughs> I might have taken that title already in this video I'm making. Greek deity. <laughs> now, how would you compare 9-9 nine, nine to 9-6? Nine, Baby games. Ba- yeah. Silly goose. Oh. Big Bang. Yeah. Do you believe in the Big Bang Theory? If I believed in it, would I call it a theory? 
depending on how low the rim is, don't forget to actually work on your jump technique when you go into practicing trick dunks. So, so when you're training, don't cheat yourself. Measure the rim. Every fraction of the inch really does count. You're probably wrong. Shoot for that 10 feet. Use the low rims as practice. Have fun. I can't stress it enough. And go nuts. What else did I want to say about it? When you're at your limit, an inch is a mile. Um, but Bars. if you're, you're progressing and you don't believe in limits, it's, it's the same thing. Woo! Do you believe in limits, sir? I do not believe in women, so we don't do we don't do that at all here. Not a single one. Uh, follow Steve on Twitter if you need, oh. if you need that daily. Yo, the follow. tweets are where it's at. It's Selly vibrations. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, silly vibration. Have fun. You can feel it too. Once you jump enough, especially for 10 years, you can look at a rim and tell if it's high or low. And that's actually a fun thing, a random thing. When you're having a good jumping day, everything looks lower. Whew. I'm 5'10", okay? I'm not like, people say that's not short anymore. Okay, 10 years ago it was short. I'm the same height. And I do a crazy distance smash dunk. And they're like, can you dunk on 10 feet? I'm like, it's three inches. You just, I just flew fucking... <laughs> Anywho, that's it. Ha subscribe to my channel if you want more energy. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be inspired every single day. Subscribe to my channel if you want to live your dreams. Subscribe to my channel if you want to transcend your skin and be in the energy of pure consciousness. I'll see you at LA Fitness, boy. Don't jump. Stay classy, San Diego. What's your address? Big Fat Ginger. Give us our, your best sound effect of the best sounding dunk. <laughs> Any life advice in seven, in, in, eight, in eight words or less? Do what makes you happy. Boom, Just love it. Nothing else matters. Nothing matters. Nothing. All right, last question, last question. Why do we exist? I exist to serve others. Beautiful. And help them grow as human beings. Uh, see, CJ, you need to start, you need to start living. Well, you're probably wrong.